Holy, let's just sing and open up our hearts and just allow the Holy Spirit of Jesus to fill it. I'm not going to be doing the ministry. It's not me. It's not any of the adults. It's you and Jesus. Boys and girls, some of you in this room, you've been thinking about your families tonight. And some of you in this room are have been feeling a little bit worried about going home. 
because you know when your situation at home is a little bit sketchy. Either your mom and dad aren't getting along or you know there's a lot of stress and you just kind of think, you know what, I'm not that excited about going home because I know that there may, maybe you're worried about going home. Is that anybody in here? Okay. Now I want you to keep your hands up. And I want boys and girls that raised their hands that felt called to the ministry, I want you to begin to lay hands on the kids that have your have the hands up. And all the boys and girls, if you're standing around someone, I want you to lay hands on them. Now, but before you do, this is what I want you to picture in your mind. When you go like this, You know what? I want you to picture Jesus' hand. Hold your hand out like this. I want you to picture Jesus' hand is going to be right on top of your hand. So it's going to be actually you and Jesus are going to be laying hands on this person. Okay? So if you are if you need prayer for home, keep your hands up. Now, boys and girls, especially those that are called to the ministry, I want you to gather around these people with their hands up. And I want everybody praying for someone. Okay? On the, like, just kind of lay their hands on the back or lay their hands, lay your hands on their shoulder. And remember, when you extend your hand, Jesus has his hand right on top of yours. And I want you in your own words to begin to pray for that person. And if you want to pray in the spirit, if you want to pray in tongues, you can. If you want to just say, Lord, I just release love into this home, you can. But begin to pray for that person. Okay? Maybe you have an encouraging word that you'd like to encourage that person with. Okay? But I want all the kids, all the kids to be praying for someone. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. Now, someone that was called to the ministry and you would like to pray, I need to, you'd like to come on stage and pray. I need some volunteer that wants to come up. Uh, why don't you come on? The blue. Come on up, sweetheart. Let's all say this after to say, say, my family is full of the love of God. And when I go home, I'm bringing the kingdom in my house. And I'm bringing Jesus into my house. And no longer the same. Say, no longer the same. No longer the same. Things are no longer the same. In Jesus' name. All right, put your hands down. Amen. Let's just keep the music playing. and Okay? I don't want to lose this, guys, because I know the Lord wants to do. How many still believe that Jesus is walking through kids' zone? Okay? Amen. We're just going to take our time with it, okay? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now let's do this right now, okay? If anybody, because we want to be free from everything, don't we? Okay? And if there's anything right now that anybody you're still worried about, you're still been praying about, is there anybody in here that you still feel like, I, I just, I'm still dealing with something, Pastor Tim? Or do we all, if we all sense this Christ, do you still? Okay. Let's raise our hands and let's all extend our hands to these kids. Let's pray for them and use the name of Jesus, boys and girls. Let's use the name of Jesus. Oh. 
like rain. 
Let's just lift our hands and receive the love of the Father. Receive the love of the Father.